So if you want to learn how to set up a pulse proportional thermostat on a ceramic heat element bulb, well after this video, you'll be an expert. Into the video, we are going to teach you how to set up a pulse proportional thermostat, what they actually used for, and everything you need to know to set it up correctly for your animal. Now, pulse proportional thermostats are mainly made for bulbs like this. This is a CHE, a ceramic heat element. It's a light bulb that doesn't give off any light, just heat. But they can also be used for heat mats. I'm going to show you both ways to set them up. Now, for starters, we're going to use Rosie, my red tail boa. Now I've put a lighted light bulb in there so you can see the effects it actually has. That is what a pulse proportional thermostat does. It pulsates the heat down. Normally you wouldn't have heat, I've just put heat. Normally you wouldn't have color. I've just put color here so that you can see it for yourselves. So guys, this is a pulse proportional thermostat. It says it there, pulse proportional thermostat. It's made by Habistat and it's a 600 watt. So this is quite a powerful one that you can use on uh, reptile racks and stuff like that. They've got three cables coming out the bottom, as you can tell just there. That one goes directly to the plug. If you're using a timer in your plug, it can go into the timer and then into the wall, but that goes into the plug. The middle one is for the heat source. Now that, if you follow that cable all the way down, goes to an empty plug. Obviously this is the UK, so we've got three plugs here. In the US you've only got two and stuff like that. But that's the plug. And then what plugs into that is the cable for your actual heat lamp. So, simple as that. Perfect. That goes to your heat plug. Now, the third cable has got written on it, sensor. That's the thermostat probe. That goes inside your enclosure. So this flickering is going to really annoy everybody, so just bear with me, I'll try and have it as li little as possible. But that is where my thermostat probe is, in that back corner, and it comes through the vent at the top, stuck down nicely, and that is where it's picking up the temperature from the bulb. Now I've put it there, because if I had it on the actual hotspot, it would be on until it heats up, and then it'll be off until it's cooled down. And it'll be on, off, on, off, instead of just pulsating like this, like it's supposed to. So guys, to set this up correctly, you're gonna need something that can measure the temperature of the hot spot and the cold side. For me, I use one of these, a heat gun. Absolutely amazing piece of kit. By far the most important piece of kit in my entire reptile collection. Um, I'll stick a link in the description to the Amazon where I got this from, dead, dead cheap it was. I think this one was less than 10 pounds and it's the best thing ever, um, battery operated. And yeah, I'll stick a link in the description below. Click on that if you wanna go and have a look for one. But you need something to check the temperature of the hotspot. This is what I use. And then when you first set it up just like this, I do apologize for the flickering, you get your temp gun. Now I've set this a little bit hot so that you can see what it is. Hey, check it out. Rosie's come for a little nosy to have a look at us. <laughs> um, you need to check the temperatures when you're setting it up. So you can just do that perfectly fine. See that's in the lower 90s, upper 80s, which is absolutely perfect. It's a little bit warm actually, it's more in the 90s than anything. So what you need to do is get hold of your thermostat and turn it down a little bit, just a little bit. There we go. You can see the light flashing, that's on whenever the, light, the heat is on. So you know when you're using a proper CHE, when the heat is actually on. Now, the temperature now is set on 82 degrees. Now, for some people that would say that's too, um, that's not warm enough for a boa constrictor, and you're correct, but I'm not checking the temperature of the hot spots. I'm checking the temperature of that back corner. So that back corner is gonna be thermostatically controlled at 82 degrees. And when this settles down to what it should be, that hot spot will be absolutely perfect. And I'll keep adjusting it and adjusting it until it is perfect. One thing you need to do is also keep an eye on the cold side. Now it's her feeding day, so I don't really want to disturb her too much, but the cold side over here, 82 degrees. So I've got 82 degrees on the cold side and I'll have upper 80 degrees to 90 degrees on the hot spot. I have that exact same proportional thermostat set up for uh, popcorn, my Carl Sunglow Bower, and a few other the animals around here. Now, I'm gonna show you the exact same setup, but um, in a rack system on heat mats. And this is the rack system I made myself, and this is operated on a pulse proportional thermostat on three heat mats. 
and here it is. Now the way I've set this up is a bit unorthodox. Again, you've got your mains, your heater, and your sensor. Your mains plugged into the wall. Your heater is the heat source, so the heat mat. So your heater cable comes down to this again, and I've got one of these big blocks of plugs. So you've got that bit goes into the plug. Click. Perfect. And then I've got one of these blocks that's got a couple of plug socket outlets on it. And it's simply a case of plugging your heat mat into there. Sorted. And then the sensor, I put the sensor on the middle one because heat rises in a rack system. So if your bottom one is a perfect temperature, that means your top one's heat rises, it's gonna be a bit too warm. So if you stick the thermostat probe around the middle thermostat, attach it straight to the top of the thermostat, and then just keep adjusting the temperatures until every single animal that you've got in the rack system is within its temperature parameters. For me, I've got up here my giant millipedes, down here is my isopods, I've got a big colored colony of tropical grey isopods, and down here in the bottom one is my male breeder leopard gecko. So as a quick summary, a pulse proportional thermostat pulsates and it's absolutely perfect for a CHE. It's not highly recommended for heat mats, but it can be used on a heat mat. You've got three cables coming off the bottom of it. One goes to your plug. One is the probe, which goes inside the vivarium that checks the temperature of the vivarium. And the other one is to plug in your heat source to. That's it, straightforward, jobs are good. Always remember the safety behind thermostats. They're amazingly safe, but they're, they do fail. Normally with the modern day thermostats these days, they fail off. So if there is a problem with the thermostat, it'll turn everything off. Um, back in the old days, they used to fail on and then cook your animals and stuff like that. So it's extremely vital that you buy brand new ones. Again, I'll stick some links in the description to uh, some Amazon links and uh, they'll take you straight through to them, along with one of these. It's always vitally important if you're using a CHE inside the enclosure to have a cage over it. So that's brought us to the end of the video now. If you want to see more, then hit that little button down there with the Northern Exotics logo. That will take you through to my channel, so click subscribe and then the notification bell so that you get notified next time I do upload a video. If you want to learn more about thermostats, click this video up here. That will explain loads of different thermostats to you, which one's best for your animal. And then if you want to learn how to um, care for a savannah monitor, click on that one just there. Peace out, guys.